Madam Chancellor, on recommendation of the Senate of the University of Guelph, it is a great honor to present to you the candidate, Winifred Halwax, for the degree of Doctor of Science, honoris causa. Dr. Halwax, news of this day has spread around the world and many of your colleagues are joining through live streaming. Of particular note are the parataxonomists, the scientists, the community organizers, the dignitaries from Guanacaste, Costa Rica, spread around the world. I would like to take a moment to welcome them specifically. Bienvenidos a todos los que se unen hoy para celebrar los logros de la doctora Halwax. A todos nuestros colegas, amigas, amigos, familia y los miembros de la Comunidad Área de Conservación de Guanacaste, les agradecemos su presencia. Lamentablemente, se van a perder de la fiesta que viene después, pero ustedes estarán en nuestros corazones. A world leader in conservation biology and biodiversity science, Dr. Winnie Halwax has made profound contributions to science, conservation, and education in her more than 40-year-long career. Dr. Halwax helped found the Guanacaste Dry Forest Conservation Fund and the Área de Conservación de Guanacaste in Costa Rica, a national park and UNESCO World Heritage Site, the ACG has become a global monument to biodiversity, conservation, and community engagement. Her legacy includes co-founding a parataxonomist training program that enables rural community members, many of them women, to become expert advocates for the forests in Costa Rica and supporters of local economic stability. She is a staunch champion of bioliteracy and the democratization of biodiversity knowledge. Dr. Halwak's pioneering work has enabled the world to otherwise to know otherwise invisible species and their tangled bank of complex and beautiful relationships. A researcher at the University of Pennsylvania, she has authored more than 130 articles in prestigious journals, including Nature, Science, and Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. Dr. Hawax has been part of a trailblazing team in the use of DNA barcoding, a technology developed at the University of Guelph for identifying organisms. She has made invaluable contributions to U of G through research partnerships with numerous biodiversity scientists has facilitated significant science research, and has helped establish U of G's Center for Biodiversity Genomics as an international authority in DNA barcoding technology. By the authority of the Senate of the University of Guelph, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Science. I am pleased, I'm pleased to invite Dr. Winifred Halwax to give the convocation address. Thank you. Thank you, Sho, Alex, the Chancellor, thank you all. I'm not a person who ever expected to be celebrated this way. And of course, since I have a bad case of imposter syndrome, I think you deserve a comic or maybe an extreme sports star or my first choice for you would be an astronaut. <laughs> but here I am. And you are a very special group. 
You drew a difficult hand to play in these COVID years. I admire you hugely that you made it through the ever-shifting currents of the pandemic. What you celebrate today are truly hard-earned achievements. And I want to recognize, as we've just been doing too, those who kept you going, your families, your friends, the teachers, staff, and administrators of Guelph, that random person on the street who smiled at you when you were stressed, and the music that buoyed you up. So, I am from the U.S., but for 44 years, I have had one foot and most of my heart in Costa Rica, a little country of extraordinary wild biodiversity in Central America, just north of Panama. As many species there as in all of North America above the Mexican border, but packed into the size of Nova Scotia. But Costa Rica is not so foreign. Canadians have been going back and forth and living in Costa Rica for millions of years. Your migrant birds of summer have dual citizenship. And tonight, while you are out celebrating, I hope, untold numbers will be in the sky flying south. I know for certain about one bird because its tiny transmitter lugged all the way from the shores of Lake Erie, pinged on a new reception tower of, uh, set up by Birds Canada in the forest where I live. It came last week and then it has been eating Costa Rican insects. And then this weekend, Hurricane Julia walloped the country. Another sword wound from climate change. I'm here because Guelph is the home to a garage startup that has truly changed the world. On this campus, bio professor Paul Bear worked out a way to identify and discover millions of species with nothing more than a short piece of mitochondrial DNA. Being a savvy guy, he labeled it DNA barcoding. His brilliant tech collaborator, Sujivan Ratnasingham, developed the public database behind this and interfaces that are truly responsible, responsive to users, users from around the world. And that started 20 years ago. At that time, we tropical ecologists sorely needed this tool. The team I am a part of had been researching tropical caterpillars for 25 years. We started as a mom and pop operation, there's my husband. And then, like the Guelph Lab later, we grew bigger and evolved. We had hundreds of thousands of specimens collected from the immense diversity of tropical forests. But identification with certainty before barcoding was near impossible. Barcoding brought order and discovery of new species and a new world. Our team right now is 34 Costa Rican paradoxonomists and many taxonomists and all rely on DNA barcodes. Working on real tropical diversity is impossible without it. The, the field paradoxonomists are all local rural Costa Ricans who did not have a chance to go beyond primary school and have been with us 15 years, 25, one case 40. They know these forests in rain and mud and snakes every day of the year and some nights. They know hundreds of tropical plant species and tens of thousands of insects. They are men, of course, and 13 women who otherwise would have been doomed to the drudgery of being a rural wife and truly appreciate these careers. 
they are working for us all. They are working for science and for conservation of global biodiversity and for their country. And they deserve to share this honor. Y algunos tal vez están escuchando en línea. Buen día y muchas gracias. Meanwhile, here in Guelph, extraordinary people were joining the growing lab. Fast forward, and DNA barcoding is a global movement, large, complex, and an exploration of multiple dimensions of non-human life. And unbeknownst to you, during your years here, tens of thousands of Costa Rican insect legs have kept coming to Guelph to be barcoded by this dedicated team. Thank you, all of you. And finally, I would like to recognize those who are no longer with us and would have been so proud of you today. My own parents are amongst them, and they would just have been thrilled. And now it is your time 